Welcome back viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi Nobe and uh, I hope I find you well wherever you are. I'm doing this video to respond specifically to those who are doing low skill work, especially domestic workers and gardeners who want to move from the Zimbabwe exemption permit to other mainstream South African permits as per the requirements sent out by the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Mtualeti. So this particular video is a response to the kind of documents uh, which are required and people have been asking where they can get these kind of documents. Is it sufficient for, this, uh, for the employer to just write those documents? Do they have to provide all the documents that are provided? And specifically, their main concern is that there is a requirement for them to provide a letter signed by the employer citing by the uh, citing the requirements to be waived and a comprehensive motivation of each requirement they want to understand this because most employers themselves don't understand what exactly it is that they are required to provide especially for those who are doing domestic work and then there is a copy of the applicant's passport no 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 not this one a copy of the employment contract signed by both the employer and the employee especially because those who are doing domestic work usually do not have any form of contract that they work uh, with and then the last one the background of the company or institution for record purposes specifically because again uh, most of them are working not for companies but for individuals so they would want to know what it is that they need to provide or how they can go around this so they asked for us to sub uh, to assist them explain some of these issues or give them advice uh, before i go ahead with that may i please request that you subscribe to this channel like this video and share it so on the duly completed online form we explained that in a previous video i think two videos ago we explained this yesterday we explained again in a different video during the last week uh, a letter signed by the employer citing the requirements to be waived and a comprehensive motivation for each requirement. So before I go ahead and explain this, I would like to make it known to you that I am not in any way saying that domestic workers are going to get a permit or a waiver. But as this is a trial and error, this is a lotto that you are now playing I will just explain to the best of my abilities based on what I have found the VFS and gotten from them. Although they also advise that uh, there is very little they can do. They cannot tell also if you are going to get these permits, if they're going to be there's going to be some leniency from home affairs or not. Because all they have to do is to receive applications, process applications and send them through to Home Affairs for adjudication. It is only the Department of Home Affairs which can make a determination on whether or not one gets or does not get uh, the permit that they applied for. So this is for a waiver. Let me explain that because that is where we got the questions. Uh, a letter signed by the employer citing the requirements to be waived and a comprehensive motivation for each requirement. So this is where your employer writes a letter which has to be very specific if you are quoting a particular clause that has to be waived, they have to quote it and explain why this has to be waived on your behalf because there has to be a reason and that reason must be convincing so that the department would then consider giving you a waiver that you are applying for. Then a copy of the employment contract signed by both the employer and the employee in the event that you don't have a contract what you can do is especially where you are working for an individual your employer can then write an affidavit stating that you have worked for them from this period to this period these are the conditions under which you are working this is the amount that you've been earning or that you are earning uh, this is uh, their particulars they explain clearly their particulars uh, and why you need to continue working for them. 
background of the company institution for record purposes. So you realize that where there is no company, a letter or an, an affidavit from your employer accompanied by their certified copy of identity documents will suffice and also their address so that these are kept for record purposes at the Department of Home Affairs. So number two and five and six, two, five and six, a letter signed by the employer, uh, a copy of the employment contract and background of the company can all be covered by a letter from the employer accompanied by an ID, a copy of their ID, which is certified. So this is what you can do. It's just a trial and error, as I've said, but that is the only option that you have. So I hope this has been clearly explained. If you still have any uh, challenges that you are facing or any uh, questions that you have, you can continue to write to us via the comments section underneath this video, and we will do our best to respond to you. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.